Also joining us, Ice Cube. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Ice Cube, Cube, friend of the program. Cube, friend of the program, oh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, innovator, trailblazer, big-ass brain. Uh, founder of the Big Three, which is obviously three-on-three -three basketball that has a four-point shot, innovative, another alternative. If you don't make it to the NBA, maybe you can play in the Big Three. Big Three making news this morning because TMZ reported that they have made a $5 million offer to Caitlin Clark. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, obviously, Caitlin Clark is the sensation Iowa Hawkeyes women's basketball player that has broken every Every college basketball uh, record and she is headed to the WNBA we all assume and the big three is like wait a second why not a five million dollar offer from us as well oh, mm. we intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin Clark plays for the championship let's not be a distraction but I won't deny what's now already out there. Big Three has made a historic offer to Caitlin Clark. Why wouldn't we? Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the Big Three. He had another tweet alongside of that that talked about Lieberman, who is a female coach in the Big Three, mm -hmm. and how much they paid her, and how innovative the Big Three has been, and how much pride they have in the Big Three. It's like, wait a second, Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is actually going to work? Is this uh, yeah, from the Big Three? perspective it seems like it makes a lot of sense yep. yeah. now how does he think it's actually going to go we'll talk to him and also there's a lot going on in the rap world right now yeah sure <laughs> really sure. so yeah, uh, you talk about about like singles and stuff uh, no albums I, well staying on business well, yeah, yeah, yeah. certainly out yeah, been out for yeah. a couple of weeks uh there's another song coming out on april 19th you know one night before uh 420 that yeah. i believe is going to have there from our friend the real pac-man jones but uh no i'm not talking i'm talking about planes and oh, sure. feds and extra and beefs yeah. going like on that. i didn't hear that. about that oh it's loud it's loud it uh -huh. is loud what founder of the big three writer rapper author speaker talker what Stud, ladies and gentlemen, Ice Cube. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Cube, how you doing, man? How, how's Mount Rushmore? Are we? Uh, <laughs> how's uh, Mount Westmore? Are we? Uh, are we killing it still? Are we still creating magic? It's all good, you know. Um, we all flying solo right now, okay. doing our own thing. So, um, you know, maybe maybe we'll get back together soon. But right now, you know, I'm on a solo creep. Okay, well, the world can't wait for that and for whatever you release next because your brain is a fantastic one. Big news this morning. TMZ says it's official. Big Three has made a $5 million offer to the sensation that is Caitlin Clark. And then you responded to the reporting and said, I was going to keep this private as she remains in the hunt for a championship. You did not want to be a distraction, which, by the way, respect. Yeah, respect. That's all. respect. Thank you, Even Keith. though it's a $5 million offer, didn't want to be an interference or a distraction. But you have made a historic offer. And why wouldn't the Big Three? Caitlin is a generational athlete who can achieve tremendous success in the Big Three. You would also go on to tout the history of the Big Three and other decisions that you've made in the past with not only women, but just everything in the basketball sphere. So my thought is this. Brilliant. Genius. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is very, very... We think it's a smart move for the Big Three. We're appreciative of you doing this. What is the reality? Do you think there's a chance for this? Have you talked to her team? What is, like, uh, kind of where do we stand on this particular offer as we speak right now, Cube? Um, you know, it's always 50-50 till we get a, a no, you know, at the end of the day. Us, it is a generous offer, um, you know, and look, you know, we're in a new age, you know, it's like NIL, um, you know, when, when we came up with the idea, you know, our sponsors, our partners, they all want to make it happen. So, you know, we was able to make that generous offer. Okay. So, um, yeah. So when we start looking at it, it's only eight weeks, right? You know, eight games, it, it's kind of, it's doable. Is well, it not? You know, Ten weeks if you if you want to win a championship. Eight okay. weeks if you plan on, you know, not making the playoffs. So, <laughs> um, you know, we we always sign players for the ten weeks, thinking they'll make it to the end. It's doable though, isn't it? We started looking at it and we reached out to some of the people from your company. Very kind to us. Mm -hmm. Everybody at Big Three is very kind mm -hmm. to us. And we're like, well, how would this work? Like, how would this even work? Well, it's ten weeks. Uh, there's only one potential, you know, conflict of time and schedule, but like you guys can move those games to places to kind of make it even easier, right? For Caitlin Clark and this whole thing and WNBA players have been playing overseas. Yep. It's different times, but they played in different leagues. So it's all, it's much more feasible. I think than maybe your initial reaction, whenever you hear about it, I assume that's a big part of your discussion as well with Caitlin, her team and internally. Oh uh, yeah. We've thought about it. It's definitely doable. Um, you know, both leagues play on CBS, so mm -hmm. of course they love it if if we can make it happen. So, 
it's uh, you know it's up to the player. You know, as a league, we'll make it happen. We'll we've always wanted to work with uh, you know the WNBA. We wanted to work with the NBA. Unfortunately, that hasn't been able to happen. But you know, maybe this will open the door for that. Go ahead, AJ. Have you thought about uh, who you might pair her up with? Who's K- who? Caitlin's team might be and. Is there any uh, any uh, offers maybe down the line for possibly other girls playing in college basketball right now? Oh uh, yeah, I mean we're open. You know, if you could play in this league, you can play. Um, we think you know um, Nancy would be the perfect coach for her. Uh, Nancy Nancy Lieberman is a ground breaking coach. Uh, she's you know broken you know glass ceilings at all level levels. So. You know, we think it's a perfect, you know, mentor for for her if she wants to play in the league. Um, you know, as the CEO of the Big Three, and it, you know, it would be, you know, I wouldn't be doing my job if we didn't explore this possibility. You know, it's really all about making it happen. You know, Cube, though, that's not how everybody thinks. I think that's why you've had success in rumor. It's like, hold on, we got a basketball league yeah. that is you. Know, this girl's like the biggest star mm-hmm. in basketball right now. We can make $5 million, and I didn't get a chance to look into like what the WNBA pays and what the salaries are. I assume you guys have done that research as well with what the $5 million. That's a that's a large num- That's a large amount of money, I feel like, for 10 Saturdays. Yeah. Right? That feels like <clears throat> if we're just going off booking fees, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, that's 500 grand, you know, a show. Like, that's, that's a very good number was there chat yeah, about that you know, and did you look into the WNBA stuff of course you know we we definitely did our homework you know we think with a move like this you know all boats rise you know with the tide so we think this would put the league in a different stratosphere um and you know everybody across the board in the league would benefit so it's uh you know it's a move that of course we want to try to make happen the four point shots her shot oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah perfect that's like what she that's where mm-hmm. she that's literally what she does yeah mm-hmm. right doesn't she do yeah. four point shots oh, yeah. where the signature i was is gonna say they got the logo on the court for the now something that should be thought about and this is much different the nit tournament needs to put the four point shot in oh. from the nit logo on there and that's once again that's a big three once again, big three mm-hmm. idea, big big three concept, innovating, changing the game. Uh, when would you need an answer, Bob? Because I thought about this uh, uh, as we went into break. If she's a big three player going into the WNBA, that's vastly different than a WNBA player trying to get to the big three, right, business-wise, if I'm just trying to piece it together? Yeah. I mean, you know, we the, our offer is in. You know, we just need an answer. As soon as they're ready to give us one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can be big three today. They're ready to give us one. Yeah. Is there a signing bonus in there? So, like, uh, hey, we'll give you half this up front. Have, they, have you got to those terms? Have you, Or where is the – here's the offer sheet. They're taking it to Caitlin after the tournament. Obviously, don't want to distract her. But, like, you talking to her team, you feel good. You feel good about where you're at. Well, I mean, you know, we don't want to be more of a distraction than we already are. You know, this, this leaked out. Where, you know, we want to make sure that we, you know, confirm the, the truths in here. And look, we don't want to talk about the the deal. You know, they have it, and if they want to sign it, you know, we'll we'll be happy to have her playing the big three. Go ahead, Con, man. Yeah, Q, has there been any, like, negotiations with maybe some of the retired former WNBA greats like Diana Taurasi, maybe uh, Sue Bird, perhaps? Has there been any <laughs> thoughts of doing that as well? Sorry, Q, but that's on me. Focus. I just picked something up. I, I get the big three ball, and I just covered up the whole thing. Sorry about it. Sorry about it. Not yet. You know, this is a special situation, a special player, you know, that's moving the needle, you know, in a lot of uh, different areas. Um, you know, ratings, attendance, ticket sales, this, that, and the other. So, you know, of course, our sponsors are very interested in a player like this. So, you know, this is our first, um, you know, look at, you know, a player and going after this aggressively because we know it would move the needle in the league. Um, and that's where we want to be. What season are we going into here for the Big Three? It's our season number seven. Let's go. Hell yeah. Keep pushing. Yeah. Keep pushing, Cube. It starts in? Uh, June 20th. June 15th, Oakland, California. You know, everybody's leaving Oakland. We going back. You know, tickets on sale. Uh, 
you know, I think this next Monday coming around. Okay, June. And uh, okay, ready to go. Do you have all the season, all the places already scheduled where you're playing at a season ahead, uh, ahead of time? Yeah. So, like, yeah. Caitlin would know exactly where she would have to be for the eight regular season, then the the playoffs ones. That's already in there. Like, hey, here's this. And if there's a, do we already yeah. know the WNBA schedule? Has that already come out? Yes. Okay, so we know. It feels like, hey, it feel like it's doable. Why oh, yeah. not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go. You Come make on. it's very doable. Yeah, it's very doable. I think there's one conflict, and we can uh, we can work around that. The timing? You're saying scheduling conflict? Yeah, just one game that we I think we play on the same day at the same time. So we would just have to move. Take that the so, night before. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sell out a special stream. But, I mean, there's just so much. That's what was great about the big three. We play once a week, and, and you know our games are they all have stakes, and so you know we we move it, the schedule to accommodate um, everybody involved. So that's funny to hear. Like, yeah, the difference between us and WNBA. I'm the CEO, so <laughs> we, we do have uh, we have one particular scheduling conflict, but we can move that if we had to. If this takes place, this will be huge. This will be massive, and I couldn't even fathom what the energy will be like in these big three arenas, especially with the festivals you make every game pretty much in a live show event. We appreciate you taking a swing. We yeah. appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Sports World appreciates that, Cube. We hope it can take place. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know you're in family vacation, <laughs> and uh, we have to ask. Have to. Gotta ask. Have to. What's up with the Diddy? What is going on with Diddy, man? Yeah, not <laughs> oh, just my God. The whole, it feels like the, you're, the, the world right now, the rap world right now, obviously the Diddy news is huge because the feds are involved and everything, but then there's like, we got unfollowing going on. Yeah. We got shots. The rap, the rap world is, is seemingly in full chaos right now. Yep. We'll start with the Diddy. We, you, we know the I, mean, I don't know. Go ahead. I don't know if the rap world is in chaos. You know, this is, okay. you know, this is, Everybody got their crews, their clicks. Rap is very big. So this is just one artist going through it. Now, I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm I'm sitting back checking out everything, you know, and um, it's just, it's mind boggling, to be honest, you know, just to see the turn of events, you know, over the, you know, course of these last couple of years. It's just crazy. So when Diddy has the feds on him, you know, and they're mm -hmm. taking computers mm -hmm. and right. everything like that. Read. The conversation is, oh, who else is going to be involved in this? As a human who's been in this business for so long and running your own shit, like not just, you know, you have, you're an inspiration to people like mm -hmm. us and to me who's like, yeah, I'm going to do my own shit. Like, this is how it's going to, I'm going to come up with this. I'm going to figure out how to execute it. I'm going to do it. I assume there's always been rumblings, though, of shit happening around the music industry, around the rap world. And as soon as the internet sees any of this, all those things are just like, yup, boom, bang, pow. Is it hard for you not to do those same things whenever you see this type of shit take place as a guy who's been an independent operator seemingly in a business that's been kind of foiled with controversy in this type of fashion for a long time? I mean, you hear things... Me, you know, I stay on the grind. You know, I've, I've never been to a Diddy party. So <laughs> you know, I, I, I hear things and they, you know, they're rumors just like they are to anybody else. So, you know, I stay on my grind, do what I do and uh, party and all that. You know, it, to me, it's too much cool stuff to do. You know what I mean? Then to just party and, you know, mess around and and just mess off your career, mess off your whole um, legacy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, stay on your grind, man. Keep doing what you do. You bless, we in a blessed position. And um, that's what it's all about, man. You know, whenever you go off the rails or, you know, the head get too big, nothing good happens. Nothing good happens. Yeah, we're finding that out. Yeah. Yep, Seems yeah. like a lot of people are finding that out. We appreciate the hell out of you, man. Thank you for taking time out of your family vacation to clarify the story that you didn't want broken this morning. And uh, good luck with the Caitlin Clark signing. We appreciate this. Appreciate y'all, man. Talk to you later. Ladies and gentlemen, I Back, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> Good man. I'll I see you, boy. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Ice yeah, Cube. Man. Hell yeah. Yeah, Cube. Yeah, Cube.